Hello, everyone. This is Frank DeRose, bass instructor at the School of the Blues. Welcome to my second installment in my blues series where I teach you about the blues and I teach you how to use that information, how to use that knowledge. If you're a beginner, the goal is to get you out of your bedroom and onto the barroom stage for a blues jam. And if you're an intermediate player already playing at your local blues jams or playing in a band, my goal is to deepen your knowledge about the blues. I'm going to teach everyone the fundamental, classic, old school, old style bass patterns that great blues songs are built upon. Today, we're going to learn Blues Before Sunrise, written by Leroy Carr, made famous by Elmore James, then made doubly famous by Eric Clapton on his album From the Cradle. This is an example of a song that really doesn't have a moving, walking bass part. There are many songs, whether it's Elmore James, Jimmy Reed, Little Walter, where there is no bass. You have two guitars, rhythm guitar, lead guitar. Sometimes one of those guitars might be plucking a bass line, but it doesn't play all the way through the song. So when we're confronted with that dilemma, the magic sauce is we need to start with the root note only. We need to find the quarter note pulse that the song is built on. Start with the root note and build up from there. So today's example in Blues Before Sunrise, I'm going to use the Eric Clapton version, which is in C sharp or D flat. I'm going to play strictly the root notes in quarter note style. You'll hear the power of it. You'll hear how that bass part does not conflict with the other instruments. The rhythm guitar, the piano, the shuffle of the drums, the lead guitar. That powerful root note really sets the song up. And when you're playing with other people, they really want to hear that root note on the first beat of every measure at a minimum. That helps frame the chords. It helps define and redefine the chord progression every time you're going through the progression. So with that said, let me get set up and we'll learn blues before sunrise. And just a reminder, below will be a link to PDF that has chord chart and the tab for this song. So open it up so you can follow along and then play along. And I encourage all of you to buy the download from your favorite store that you purchase music from or buy the CD of Eric Clapton's so you have this in your personal collection and play along with it and really learn it. So hang on. I'll be back in a minute after I get set up. All right, let's play some blues. Blues Before Sunrise is a 12-bar blues with no quick change and a standard turnaround. It has the shuffle feel, but the bass does not shuffle. We're doing the quarter note pulse on the root note. You see in the tab, open the tab. Now this is a bonus feature in this song, is the introduction. So the slide guitar fills up the first four measures of the one. In the first measure, drums and bass and other members of the rhythm section, we will play on the fourth beat. We do it again in the second measure. In the third measure, we lay out because the slide guitar is getting real busy. And in the fourth measure, the drums start doing a buildup. And I've taken the liberty for the bass to play the quarter note pulse in conjunction with that buildup. 
I was moving my cable because my foot was on it. I didn't want to unplug while I was playing. So here we go. If you got all that, let's play the blues. Quarter note pulse because you know you've done it all. to a great blues shuffle done by Eric Clapton and all the guys that he had in that session. So we played strictly root notes. First time through, I chose the option of playing the four and the five in pitch above the C sharp. And when the singing started in the second 12 bars, I played the four and five in the lower octave. And that's a technique we can use to make our bass parts more interesting is change the octave. And it takes what we're playing and gives it a different dimension. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back in a moment with some final thoughts. All right, today we learned a 12-bar blues that didn't have a quick change, that had a classic blues turnaround. We learned to play it with just the root note. You know, the root note is the power note. And we did it in quarter note pulse style. The pulse is king. That quarter note pulse drives the groove. We are the groove machine on the bass. Remember that. Dancers love the groove machine. So next installment, we're going to use the root note and the five note of the scale. You'll be surprised how powerful those two notes are. And so I'd like to thank you again for tuning in. My email will be in the ending credits. If you have any questions at all about this lesson or any ideas for a future lesson, please email me. I do give Skype and Zoom lessons. So please, if you'd like to learn some more and have some private instruction, some tailored instruction to what your wants and needs are, please contact me. And of course, my PayPal will be listed at the end. Any donation would be greatly appreciated. So until I see you again, keep on thumping that bass. Bye for now. <laughs>